Hello, welcome back to my vlog. Um, today I'm going to talk about one of the mines that we went and visited. Um, we actually visited two mines today. Um, I'll talk about one a little more than the other just because it uh, was a lot larger and it had a lot more cool things to it. Um, so the first mine that we visited was actually called the Helen Barrow Mine. Um, it is abandoned, um, but the site itself and the dumps that were on that site um, were relatively intact. So we could actually go in and we can actually pick out a couple of samples that um, were very, very well preserved. They really weren't like hose drown. They weren't completely covered in muck and mud. They were actually just in these nice piles where we can sift through them and find what we needed to. Um, I myself was looking for heavier metals like um, tantalum and columbite. Um, we were also finding things like barrel, um, mica, tourmaline, um, both types of feldspar being orthoclase and um, sodic feldspar. Um, but the mine itself, um, it was a very similar mine to Dave's mine where it was kind of like um, a cave that had been kind of just dug out. It was almost like they took an ice cream scooper and dug out a side of the hill. Um, and they kind of just poured all the contents of the cave on the outside of it so we could actually get in and actually take some samples, which is really neat. Um, then after the Helen Barrel, we actually went up the road to the Rainbow Number no. 4 mine um, where we found some really, really great uh, quartz samples, um, some more of the heavier rocks that could possibly be uh, tantalum or columbite, or they could be iron. Still have to wait on um, our X or F to get those readings. Um, but overall, both the mines were very, very great. Um, had a lot of information to give, and we took a lot out of them. So, um, yep, that's about it.